65 million years ago, the last dinosaurs disappeared. Along with 75% of all living things on Earth. The cause of this and four other mass extinctions before it remains a mystery. As we try to understand what happened, some scientists fear we are fast approaching a similar catastrophe. In geological terms, humans have inhabited the Earth for mere moments, but our presence over the past 200,000 years has been heavily felt. Our growing need for food and fuel has destroyed habitats, eradicated species and altered climates at an unprecedented rate. So is this quest to better ourselves about to catch up with us? Will we be the sixth mass extinction? On land or at sea, we are the undisputed top predator. Never in the planet's history has a species dominated as comprehensively as we do. Ancient forests which have stood for centuries, cleared in days to make way for crops. Animals once wild, domesticated for food and transport. And apex predators of the deep, depleted for their delicacies. There are an estimated 8.7 million species on Earth, but just one is using up to 40% of the planet's net primary production for its own purposes. And this dominance has consequences. Extinction is a natural phenomenon, but overconsumption the introduction of non-native species and poor management mean we are now losing species up to 10,000 times the natural rate. Scientists fear that ecosystems could alter in such a marked way that they will no longer provide enough food, clean water or oxygen to sustain any life on Earth. Human interference is not restricted to the living either. By relying on fossil fuels, are we potentially altering our climate in a catastrophic way? Rising seas, acid rain, soaring temperatures, they could all make the Earth uninhabitable. Some scientists believe that climate change was key to the downfall of the dinosaur. Could it be ours as well? Humanity and the natural world are explicitly linked. The way we interact with the world around us is key to the success of all species. Our understanding of the planet's ecosystems may be incomplete, but our effect on them has been profound. Can the tools and technology that have been used to push life on Earth to the very edge be used to bring it back from the brink, or is our time here on Earth coming to an end?